Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner. It is time once again for Andy's HVAC Tech Tips of the Day. Today is Tech Tip number 12. Uh, and if you notice, my camera's actually sitting the right way today, so we're doing a little better. The phone holder came in, I'm not sure if I like the placement, but you know, we're doing a little better. So maybe we're looking a little fancier these days. I'm not really a fancy guy usually, but uh, you know, this is as good as it gets. So uh, today's Tech Tip number 12. I do believe and today's tip would be uh, about dispatchers uh, you know in the heating and air industry as far as service techs out there you know we most companies have dispatchers in the office uh, be it men or women that uh, sit in there and basically field the calls as they come in where we need to go um, and then they arrange the schedule and tell us where we need to go um, and what time we're going to be there they communicate with the customer for us when we're on our way that kind of thing you know companies are all different as far as how they do it but most have dispatchers and uh, you know my tip would be to uh, be nice to your dispatchers uh, I know that seems uh, kind of stupid and self-explanatory but you know those dispatchers uh, you know nice or not you know they are going to make or break your day because they're the ones that are telling you where you're going when you're going to be there and doing your schedule for you and everything else. I mean, maybe some of you out there work for a company where you just get a sheet of paper that says you have this many calls and this is where you're going all day. I know there's some out there like that. Um, I used to work for a company that was somewhat like that, but you know, most bigger companies usually have dispatchers because uh, the calls are coming in all different times of the day. But be nice to your dispatchers because um, if you're not, obviously they can make your day a whole hell of a lot harder than what it had to have been. Um, you know, maybe uh, I, I would never want to say that any of them uh, would do that on purpose, but uh, you know, over the years I've met a lot of dispatchers, uh, good ones and bad ones both. Um, and you know, I, I understand that it is a very hard and complicated job in there to be able to dispatch all the guys, especially if you work for a company like where I'm at. Uh, you know, we have a lot of different techs, so there's a lot of different people to worry about, and we have lots of calls that come in during the day. So you know, that's a very stressful job in there as well, just like what we've got out here. And I know sometimes the office and the guys in the field don't always communicate well together. Um, you know, that happens. I'm guessing that is pretty much like that in every company out there. Um, so, you know, I think we do need to communicate better and I think we need to be nice to our dispatchers. You know, there is no reason to ever yell at our dispatchers because, you know, they're the ones, they're trying to make our day decent. They're trying to get the job done for the company and they're doing their thing. So, uh, you know, if you are rough with them or you yell at them or you get upset with them or whatever I mean there is the potential that your day could go very poorly so you know my advice would be to make sure you te treat your dispatchers with respect uh, regardless of what's going on you know if there's some kind of issue where you think that your dispatcher isn't doing what they should then uh, I think you need to talk to upper level management at that point you don't need to be rough with your dispatcher because you know she's just trying to do her job or he's trying to do his job whoever it is there um, you know all these different companies they're just trying to do their job so you know they have a job to do just the same as we do and uh, you know there, there's a lot of stress involved with that and you know I have seen too many guys that have um, you know, basically they've, they've had a hard time or a hard period in their career because they, they aren't friendly with the dispatchers. And um, I mean, as far as you, you don't have to be over the top nice by any means. You don't have to you know be bubbly and giggly and all that kind of crap. But I do think that you probably shouldn't be yelling at them. You probably shouldn't be cussing at them and all that kind of stuff because uh, it can come back and bite you pretty bad. And if, uh, you know, that's happening maybe you ought to think about how you're you're talking to the people that do your um, scheduling and things like that and I'm not doing this video to suck up to any of the dispatchers at, at where I work or anything like that hell most of them probably don't even watch the video so I can care less but um, you know I do believe that we should never be yelling at them because uh, they're, they're doing their job just like we are so um, then they can make you have one hell of a bad day or hell of a bad week or even longer so um, I've seen seen where text uh, that happens to them because they just can't get along with people so but that comes back to one of the other videos out there you know, make sure you go back and watch them all there's I had another one about being nice all you got to do is be freaking nice it works in so many different ways and on so many different levels so you know just be nice to everybody that you work with uh, I mean try to get along with the people that you you do have to work with because uh, you know they're just trying to do their job too and if they're uh, you know a bunch of buttholes then I don't know, just ignore them, leave them alone, but uh, just be nice because uh, it'll make your day go a whole heck of a lot better. So um, any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them all below. 
Uh, otherwise, like, share, and subscribe as often as possible. Make sure you hit the little notification bell up there so you get notifications every time a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. God bless.